How and why did you choose to study in Korea at all? Actually, I got Kai Scholarship. Oh. Elitist of the elite. Kai? Which is located in Daejeon. Yeah, Daejeon. Actually, I don't know if you know this, but mm -hmm. Daejeon is the most boring, boring? city. Boring? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourself. 안녕하세요. 저는 미얀마에서 온 메이녀들입니다. 지금 카이스트에서 석사 과정을 하고 있습니다. 오, 야 한국말 오. 한국말 잘하네. 아니 그리고 한국말도 잘하는데 카이스트. 카이스트. 심지어 카이스트 지금 석사 과정을 밟고 있다고 하는데. 대단하네. Yeah. Right now you're studying in KAIST. KAIST yeah. What does it mean? Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. <laughs> For those who are living in Korea, we know that KAIST is one of the tough universities that you can attend. But for those who are new to this? KAIS is more like a research-oriented university. Basically, uh, KAIS is popular for science, technology, and engineering. And how long have you been studying in KAIS? Almost two years. Almost two years. And I'm going to graduate in August. Wow! <laughs> how long have you stayed in Korea? Oh yeah, two years. Two years. Yeah. So the entire two years you've been yeah. studying here in Kais. Yeah. So I think a lot of students want to know, mm -hmm. like, do you need to speak Korean in order mm. to study in Korea for, oh. for your case? How was it? Oh, actually, uh, to apply for the admission in other universities, uh, you might need to submit the topic certificate. But in the case of Kais, we do not need to submit their topic, but they ask for English language proficiency certificate, mm -hmm. like TOEFL and IS. So even in the lab and the classroom, so we mainly use uh, English as a main language and also 80% of the courses here are English. So English language is more important than Korean language. Korean, yeah. We need to submit their, like a lot of documents, English language proficiency, transcripts, and the degree certificates that we got in the previous education, and also the work experience, if you mention something like that in the personal statement. Also, two recommendation letter is required. Among all the documents, which took you the most time? That would be English language certificate, because I need to prepare for it during my final year of the university. Mm. Another thing is that you need to have the really good GPA. So oh. for that, I think you need to like try hard since the start of the university. Mm. Actually, I got Kai scholarship, so I do not need to pay any tuition fee and registration fee. Yeah, I got a full scholarship here. Oh, <laughs> elitist of the elite. <laughs> Kais provide the scholarship for almost international students. So, but the the monthly expense is a little bit lower. So we work as the research assistant at the research lab. So we earn the salary from there. Mm. How and why did you choose to study in Korea at all? I've been here uh, in 2016 uh, because of the scholarship program and I stayed in Donju for about two months. I'm experienced in the education system here and I am really impressed. And, and I, after that, I came here again in 2018. I met a few students from KAIS in the International Forum and I talked with them. And I heard about the KAIS reputation and the research infrastructure here. As my major in computer science, so I believe that KAIS will be the best choice for me. So yeah, I came here. Mm. <laughs>
놀땐 어디서 놀아요? Uh, there's a place called Kang Road near uh, Daejeon Station. Uh, so I think this is the most crowded place in Daejeon. Uh, so you can find a lot of restaurants and some bars and mm. yeah, cafes. A lot of Koreans, when they think about Daejeon, they only think about one place, mm -hmm. which is Songshimdang. Oh, Songshimdang. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like yeah, Songshimdang it. Daejeon is there. Daejeon is Songshimdang, and Songshimdang is Daejeon. <laughs> only that. <laughs> Where do you like to visit in your free time in Daejeon? Because like, there's no place to visit, so I've been traveling to other cities during the weekend when I have free time. Oh. Like, the Seoul, because it's in the middle of Korea, so it's, the transportation is really accessible and you can go to any world. When do you feel most homesick? It's been like two years that I can go home, so. Rather than homesick, it's like food sick. <laughs> oh, food sick. You don't really miss your home, but you do miss Burmese food. And we do our research before we come to the interviews. And we found out there is actually a Myanmar town. Oh, in Incheon. Oh, okay. So you know about yeah, this. Yeah, I've been there oh, really? oh, really? <laughs> many times. So we took our time last weekend to go there by ourselves. And we actually tried Burmese food. Oh, really? <laughs> Everything was written in Burmese language. And people there were also from Myanmar as well. It almost felt like we were traveling there as well. Yeah. So yeah. we highly recommend you visit Incheon for the food and for the people. So while we were there, we actually, had, <laughs> we actually brought you some food. Oh. Let's go unpack that. Yep, let's go. I'm Lei and I'm your foreign neighbor in Daejeon. 